Can you address cryotherapy and how that might benefit of someone who's having problems associated with implants? Yes. Now, cryotherapy is interesting. We're building that, too, as part of our healing and detox center. Cryotherapy is utilizing liquid nitrogen, uh, the air from the liquid nitrogen to cool down your body. What's interesting is that it was really invented in Japan for treatment of rheumatoid arthritis. And how many times have you had knee pain or an injury and you put ice on it and it feels better? Um, but in cryotherapy, they go one step beyond that. They think that the cryo, the coldness and the rewarming actually shuts down the inflammatory reaction in that particular body part. And the rewarming brings more blood flow and more nutrients to the part that you're healing. So traditionally, currently, uh, the people who use cryotherapy are generally uh, athletes. Uh, do you guys know who LeBron James is? Well, he has a cryotherapy uh, tank in his house because after every basketball game, he goes in it. Um, but it's also used for arthritis, for muscle pain, for any discomfort. And it's quite, I, had, I have some friends who use it and it's quite miraculous because it makes the pain go away. And, and it generally it's a non-Advil, non-Celebrex, non-NSAID, non-aspirin way of increasing inflammation. And as you know, inflammation is, a lot of it is part of what um, implant illness is about. 